So I know there will be some of you that'll click this video after reading the title and come in believing I'm going to give you reasons on why Sylvanas deserves redemption, but <laughs> no, no, I'm with you 100%. She does not res deserve redemption, but while there are many who want her dead, gone, and ousted from the Horde, there are others who believe the opposite. So if you're on the side of redemption or you want more obscure reasons to dislike the current war chief, this video is for you. So without further ado, does Sylvanas deserve redemption? No. <laughs> She's done many terrible, terrible, very bad, no good things. She plagued her own troops, burned Teldrassil, made a deal with Helia, nearly enslaved the Valkyrie of Stormheim. Hold on, Dave. Dave, what do you, what do you mean? S Sylvanas only started to do all that bad stuff recently. Garrosh caused hold on. Hold on, loyal viewer that, that just interrupted me. I'm going to stop you right there. The first faction war, the fourth war, or the Alliance Horde War, whatever you want to call it, it started far before Garrosh was the reigning war chief. It started just after the Wrathgate, and as we know, the Wrathgate has shaped Azeroth for better or for worse. I did a video on who really uh, caused the Wrathgate, but if you want to, so if you want to watch it, I'll be sure to pin it in the video, but we all know the story of the Wrathgate incident, the... Alliance and Horde engage to Scourge outside of the Wrathgate. Arthas joins the battle, and the Forsaken betray their living allies and rain down the first use of the plague in act of war, killing hundreds upon hundreds of undead and living soldiers. Then, in an event that was sadly removed for whatever reason, and I really hope it's brought back someday, or at least touched up upon, the Horde and the Alliance move strike teams, both led by Thrall and Varian respectively, into the Undercity, where they removed Vary Mothras's faction of Forsaken, then engaged each other in battle, where Varian Rin formally declared open war with the Horde. Sitting in the back seat the entire time, as the factions literally engaged in a new war and started to tear each other apart before Arthas was even dead, was Sylvanas. <laughs> as Garrosh turned into a brutal, genocidal savage, she sat back, watched, plagued Gilneas a few times, and committed some troops to oust the war chief that didn't like her to begin with. We were very quick to rule her as a victim of the Wrathgate, but how true is it to say that? If she ordered the plague created to sate her vengeance against Arthas, which she very well did, how far-fetched is it to say she ordered the attack on the Wrathgate just to try and kill him? Sylvanas has eyes and ears all over the Undercity, and so how could large batches of just plague, very, very large batches, uh, be brought to Northrend by these rogue forsaken without alerting the Banshee Queen? As I stated in my Wrathgate video, Sylvanas is not an innocent bystander in this situation. Regardless of if Vary Mothras and Putris attempted a coup against her, she's still created the tools used by the Forsaken today. She's the only one truly at fault for the Wrathgate, not some rebelling undead or some crazy demon. And if she's at fault for that, She's at fault for the war that followed. She herself damned Garrosh. She opened the way for the Iron Horde. She brought about the Legion's invasion, which led to this new faction war. Indirectly caused or not, if the Wrathgate doesn't happen, most of those things don't happen. Does that any of the house sound like something at the actions of a redeemable character? Let's not forget that after Arthas' death, her sole mission became to stay alive so she would never end up where her former master did. Uh, her people turned from subjects to arrows in a quiver, a bulwark against her enemies. She produced more and more of the concoction that damned Alliance Horde relations, expanded her influence, and drove away the people of Gilneas, South Shore, and the growing population of Vanderhall, just so she'd have a larger area between her and the people she calls her enemies. She attempted to have Thrall, the war chief turned family man trying to just live out in the Grand, assassinated because he still poses a threat. The Zandalari, who she wanted for their fleet, have just become simple tools, just like the rest of the Horde, being thrown away to a slaughter so she can live. Is that someone that sounds redeemable in any regard? She isn't an illitant. 
The things she does now are for herself and only for herself, not for the future of the planet. We should not pity her, nor should we redeem her. She should get the death she deserves and join Arthas in an endless torment. It is the only fitting end to a terrible, no good, very bad, evil witch like herself. Now there are a few things I didn't get to in detail with this video, but I made a few others on the War Chief that I'll be linking to, so be sure to check those out, and please leave all your questions, comments, and concerns regarding this video, WoW, or its lore in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to read each and every one of them. Thanks for watching.